Okay, so we're going to start our corn um, lab today where we're investigating the chi-square, which we had been doing with those tigers and the notes the previous day. All right, so I'm going to pull this up off of classroom. And if you read it, it says corn genetics and chi-square chi analysis. In this exercise, you will examine an ear of corn and determine the type of cross and genes responsible for the coloration and texture of the corn kernels like the one shown below. There are four grain phenotypes in the ear, purple and smooth, purple and shrunken, yellow and smooth, yellow and shrunken. Um, so they're showing you A, B, C, and D right here, what they look like. Dihybrid crosses, we will now consider a dihybrid cross, which is a combination of the two monohybrids. Your ear of corn may be a result of a cross between plants that were heterozygous. So you can see where they're heterozygous for both traits. It says create a Punnett square or use a, a mathematical system to determine the phenotype ratio. Record what you would expect to get, blah, get from this cross in the chart below. All right, so you can either do two small Punnett squares where you just put big P, little p on top and big P, little p on the side, and do, do another small Punnett square where you do capital S, lowercase s on the top and capital S, lowercase on the side, or you can do a big 16 square Punnett square where you have capital P, capital S, um, capital P, lowercase s, lowercase p, capital S, lowercase p, lowercase s, and that would all go across the top. And then you would put the exact same thing down the side. Up to you how you want to do that. So then you're going to go through and you're going to figure out how many should be purple and smooth, purple and shrunken, yellow and smooth, yellow and shrunken. All right. Um, we now count the number of each in your two rows of your ear of corn. So what you guys are going to do, uh, you're, uh, these numbers we're going to get rid of. These are just random numbers put in here. But you're going to plug them in right here. And this is just showing, this is just kind of giving you an idea. Here, I'll leave them back. I'll put them back because this is just kind of showing you guys the example on how to do this. So this is the ear of corn you're going to use. Now I know it says two rows, but in the past I've made them do the whole ear of corn. So that's what I'm going to make them do here like I have every other year. I'm going to do the whole ear of corn. And now what I did is I personally would go through and I had four different colors and I used, um, oh gosh, Sharpies. And I was like, okay, my green, my green Sharpie. I'm going to go through and I'm going to make marks on all the ones that I think are smooth and purple. Ooh, is that one maybe? You're just gonna make your best guess. All the smooth purples you can find. You're going to mark them, and then you're going to count them up. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the yellow smooth. So I just, I color coded mine. So then maybe the purple wrinkled, and then finally the wrinkled yellow. So I color coded mine. I did this for the whole ear of corn. I, I did it by myself, so I know you guys can too. I know it's tedious, but you can do it. So let me clear that ink layer. All right, so you're going to count them up and you're gonna put your numbers right here. How many purple smooth did you see on your ear of corn? How many purple shrunken, yellow smooth, and yellow shrunken? Now, once again, these numbers are here just to guide you. I'm going to leave them there. You, though, will need to plug in your own numbers. So here's what you do, and I'm leaving them here so you have an idea of how to do this chart below, because we have only done it with the tiger cubs and the mice. We only had two options. It was like, oh, the tiger cubs are white or orange, or the mice were either black or brown. Well, now we have four options here. So it says, did you obtain a 9331 ratio to, to determine if the deviations from your answer data are due to chance alone? or if it is significantly different, you need to do the chi-square test. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. Your expected number. So, uh, remember at nine sixteenths, nine divided by 16 is 44.4. So, your observed number is 44. Um, so, you're, uh, all right, so guys, for your expected number, you're going to take the total number that you got. Remember when I did that with the mice? The tiger cubs was really easy because we only had four cubs, so I didn't really have to do anything. But with the mice, 
I had to get the total number of mice and then multiply by um, 0.75 or by 0.25. Well, this time I'm going to, they, instead of putting it in decimal form like I did for you guys on the, on the mice, they're giving it to you in fractions. I mean, you could just do 9 divided by 16, 0.5625. So I'm going to take the total number of purple and smooth that I counted up here, the 44, and I'm going to take, I know you should not get 44, but whatever number you got, you're going to multiply by 9 divided, or 9 sixteenths, or 0.5625. All right, and you're going to do that for the same thing, the purple and shrunken, whatever number you got right here, you're going to place right here in the total, and you're going to multiply by 3 sixteenths, or this 3 divided by 16, um, 0.1875. And you're going to do the same thing for yellow and smooth. What did you get right here? You're going to plug it in for the total. And yellow and shrunken, whatever you got right here, you're going to plug it in for the total. Now your observed number is going to go right here. Now you can see what they've done here. They've plugged them in like this. You are not, I'm, I'm going to keep repeating this because I'm kind of scared to leave these numbers here, but I wanted to leave them there so you could see what's happening. Um, you are going to have your own numbers here, whatever you counted. All right, so now... Um, you're then going to do this, observed minus expected, so my observed was 44, there it is, minus my expected right here, which was 44.4, divided by 44.4, and that gave an answer of 0. Now for here, I'm going to do 17 minus 14.8 squared divided by 14.8 and what they got was 0.32. Once again, you guys are going to be using your own numbers. Okay, these should all be different. This should not be 44.4 for you. I'm assuming it won't anyway. Um, maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe it will be. But your number, it, your total, these totals are not going to be the same, okay? Not gonna be the same. So once you do that for all four of these, you're going to add them all up. So zero plus 0.32 plus 0 0.002 plus 0.76, they got a value of 1.08. So now they're going to look at this chart and they're going to see, was that a good fit or was it a poor fit? Do we accept our hypothesis or are we like, nope, something else is happening on uh, or something else is going on? All right, so let's look here. Then here's a problem, and you guys are going to try to solve these problems, okay? This is going to take them a couple days to do. I mean, just counting the corn is going to take a little bit of time. So I'm assuming, I'm thinking we're going to be on this for two days. I will let you know if it runs over two days, um, and I'll let you guys know that so you have a little bit of extra time yourself. Let me know if you have any questions on this. I know this chi-square can get people sometimes, so let me know if you need anything. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.